What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to unbox $400 silver mystery box. It could be anything but the title when I bought it, it says silver, bill and coin and stuff like that. Silver costs about $18 per, per ounce, give it or take it every single day. So let's see if this thing is worth it because the eBay seller only had like two positive reviews. That's it, super new eBay seller. So this is why I'm doing this little review. And also mystery bugs are a lot of fun to make videos of. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Okay guys, let's open it up and see what we're going to get. Definitely was expecting a box. I'm now look into it. I'm gonna open up one thing at the time if I can. Oh, look at that, guys. We got bag inside of the bag. Very nice. Okay, let's see what we get in this bag. This is like Russian dolls. All right. Oh, we got a silver spoon. Oh no, that was stolen silver, so not super valuable. But anyways, people collect silver spoons, but it's not super special. So I don't know it's, if it's much money. No, silver, stolen silver fork. And look at that, it's so dirty and messed up. How do you clean silver? Another spoon. Are we gonna get like $400 worth of spoons? because I'll be so disappointed. Okay, this one is pretty cool. This is a little bit better, 830 silver. There is a marking, these people collect this kind of spoons, but again, I was hoping to get actual silver. I'm not gonna count this as weight of the silver. Got another spoon, it looks like we're going to get a whole set. No way, a silver cover. I don't even know if I can sell all that stuff. Maybe at coin store or something. I can fill a few coins over here. No, 1965, 1969, 68. This is half dollar before 1964. They all 40% silver. Each one of those about $3. Okay, this 1941 quarter, 90% silver. They go just silver melt value because this thing is such a bad shape. Goes for three dollars as well. Ooh, look at that. 1968, another $3. This is 1945 Walking Liberty. That's pretty cool coin. I think this is about six dollars melt value. I'm gonna look it up. But face value, there's a little bit more, maybe like eight bucks or something like that. Let me look it up real quick. If you go to sold on eBay, you can see they sold around eight dollars. Depends of the quality of the coin, but silver melt value about six dollars and thirty cents. So that was a pretty good coin. Nice. Okay, getting a little bit better stuff. 1963 Franklin half dollar. This melt value is also six dollars. Pretty awesome. It's a same size as the other one. The other one is just a little bit older. So pretty good coin as well. I can take it to the coin store. They will give me the junk silver melt value all day. Oh nice, 1964, this is what I'm talking about. This is 1964 Kennedy half dollar at coin store. They will give you all day melt value silver of $6 as well. And this one, 1968, this is 40% silver. So it's less valuable. So all of the 90% silver Kennedy half dollars, they all the same melt value worth. But again, you can sell it for a little bit more for the historic value. Another two 40 percenters. Oh no, a watch, a silver, this is junk. MP Sterling, 100% uh, SS, Hong Kong. Doesn't tell me the value of silver, but whatever. A little silver thing. I don't even know if I can sell it with all this watch piece and everything else. Okay, this is cool. You know, at this coin stores, you can take this junk silver um, necklaces and they'll buy it from you. I don't know if you can take this stone pieces, but actual silver necklaces, they will pay you per weight. All you have to do is just find 
the mark of what silver it is. This is 925. As you can see, this is super tarnished junk silver right here. That's what they call it on eBay. But again, this is so much junk. I was hoping to find way more billion right here because $400, it might be not worth it. There's gotta be a better, like a little bar of silver to make it worth it because if it's not, I'm gonna give it a better view anyways. It's all tangled up. 925 and this one most likely 925. This is junk. I'm not gonna be able to sell it. I have to spend a bunch of time separating it. 925. Another couple pieces of 925 and this one as well. So you have here a whole bunch of silver that you don't know what to do with and cannot sell it and it's broken. Take it to the coin store. You know what? They will pay you money per weight. They will identify the quality of the silver jewelry, like 925, 920, 825, and they will pay you money per weight. So that's pretty cool. A little bit of an educational video for those people who doesn't know that you can sell jewelry into the coin store like that. Not every coin store will take it. Another 925. Man, I did not expect to get so much junk right here in uh, silver. How did they acquire so much silver uh, junk uh, necklaces and stuff like that? This is looks like sterling silver with the stone. I do not like it. Whoa, a ring, 925, but it looks like a vagina, so I'm going to sell it. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what we got. Oh, finally. One ounce silver bars. One, two, three, four, five. One ounce silver bars. This one goes for about $21, $22. You may ask me. Well, the silver price, the spot is only $18. Well, the spot is nothing to do with the bars because guess what? It costs them more to produce smaller bars. If you buy the ginormous bar, that's cheaper to produce. So they would be $18, maybe $19. But because these ones are more expensive to produce, it will be over the spot few dollars. So each one of those go on eBay for about $21, maybe $20, $19. You can find the cheapest maybe at the gun show or something like that. But on eBay, there's a lot more expensive. That's $105 already right here. So we're still behind because this right here, I have no idea how to even um, figure it out. It doesn't worth that much money compared to this bar side here because it's not even maybe barely an ounce. That's it. So let's say all this is $18 by itself. Plus, it's probably cheaper because they would have to extract all the silver. This side here is already pure. So let's see what else we have here. Junk on 925 with this kind of junky diamonds in there. Ooh, look at that, 1961 Franklin, half dollar, another six dollars in a melt value only. You know what, there is a lot more stuff than I thought there was gonna be. There's more, 925 silver with a stone. 1966, 1969, 40%ers, I should organize them a little bit. Junk silver is nice because it's also easy to sell. Okay. Couple more half dollars, 68. Ooh, this is nice quality. Whenever they shiny like that, people pay a little extra because they call them, um, I mean, they call them sometimes uncirculated and better uh, sell value because of that. 1964, yes, another 90% silver right here. We will have to calculate. Oh my gosh, look at that. Another $21, different bar. I like the different uh, mintages too. I do not have one of those. One ounce, $21. Wow, 1943, uh, about $3, I think. I should look it up how much uh, quarters go, silver quarters, 90% silver. 1963, very nice. Another 925, $69 and 68 we're getting a lot of half dollars. Okay, let me look it up. A uh, quarter of 90% silver, just a melt value. Yep, I was right. This one's quarters be before 1964, 90 
percent silver is goes for three dollars. Melt value again. Um, 1969, pretty good quality. I might fill a, a book with them. 942, Walking Liberty. Wow, nice. I love that these coins because obviously coins a lot easier to sell, especially when they shiny like that. People like the uh, shiny coins for the collections. 1968, another 40% silver. Let's see how much is 40% silver half dollar go for. Melt value of these ones is $2.60. Uh, okay, wow, there's more half dollars. That's insane. Ooh, there's some shiny ones, 1968, another one. There's a lot of uncirculated, um, I mean, somewhat circulated, but the really nice quality half dollars. Whoa, what is that? Is this, wow, this is cool. I can't believe this mystery box gave me one of these things. It's kind of sealed, it's painted. I don't know what's up with this coin, who produced it like that. Uh, it's gotta be silver, but it is definitely have been painted like that into gold working liberty. Beautiful piece, 1941. I have no idea what they go for. I'm sure some people like this kind of stuff. And as you can see, it has some kind of sealant on top of it. Very unique coin for sure. And another 1943, $3. Wow. I'm pretty happy with this mystery box so far. I was so skeptical. 1964 quarter, very good quality again. And you know what? I didn't expect to get so many silver coins because coins sell pretty easily. If I want to resell it, oh no, I'll get another sterling silver spoon, but I like it. I just have to professionally clean it without cleaning off all the silver off of them. 1968, another really great quality 68 and 69 40 percenters wow this is being a stock i know will it be worth it we'll find out have a bunch more half dollars over here 1936 working liberty half dollars 1939 ooh 969 pretty shiny on the other side 942 franklin half dollar 66 and 68 all these 68 are so shiny, people like those again. So yeah, stack it up. We're gonna calculate it, see if it was worth it. Just in a silver value. Ooh, this one is a really old coin. 926 Standing Liberty uh, quarter. Pretty sure it's silver melt value is about $3, just like a quarter. This is Barber quarter, 1915. Not a worse quality, but pretty cool super super old coin and 1966 40 percent wow definitely getting a lot of stuff for 400 dollars kind of like it 925 stolen silver another piece of <laughs> piece of 925 wow that's a really junky silver right here quarter 1947 pretty cool much older a quarter, 1948 quarter right here. Another Barber 1916. Pretty awesome. Whoa, what? Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. I did not expect to find one of those. Somebody dropped it so bad. Man, look at that. You want to keep this in a very, very nice condition. Somebody was using it as a junk silver, but wow. But how many ounces is this? It does not tell me how many ounces that is, but I'm really curious because it's gotta be few ounces. Okay guys, I have no idea how much this wastes or what is this thing is all about. And this is 4.4 ounces. So four and a half ounces maybe. So that's pretty cool. And it's a fine silver, 999. Yep, right here. So this right here, is definitely junk silver because of this hole. Otherwise, it would be could be collectible and would be a lot more than just a silver spot. But yeah, look at that shine. What a waste. But still, pretty awesome. Let's multiply. 4.4 multiplied by 10. So this piece I could easily sell over melt value about $80. Maybe because it's such a big hole, 
sixty dollars. But still awesome. Silver Valor is there. Did not expect to get a big chunk of silver like that. That's for sure. Four point four ounces. Okay, let's see. Nineteen sixty nine, sixty eight, sixty seven. And 64, nice. Another 90% silver. Another ring. Oh wow, interesting. 925, most likely to it in a pile. Okay. 1964 quarter. Pretty good quality. Another 64. Ooh, nice. Franklin 51. Another six bucks. I don't know, it could be worth it. Um, maybe not so much $400, but we'll calculate all together. Uh, and this 68, 68, 64. But I'll tell you what, this is definitely was fun unboxing unique stuff. Okay, and we're all empty now. Okay, now let's calculate it. Okay, now let's calculate everything. This right here, obviously junk. It has watch and stuff like that. There's a bunch of, I don't know, plastic. So this is stayed up, I'm gonna put it aside because it would be too much work separating all the junk. This right here, silver plated. I have no idea how much this stuff sells for. This is mostly silver, mostly no stones. So this would be a remove that little piece. So whatever, we're gonna put it in here. And let's see, sterling silver, how much will it be worth? You know what, probably gonna remove that as well. Three ounces, that's it. And obviously it's not pure 999 silver, just like this stuff. So it's gonna be uh, not that much worth it. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, $30, maybe $20 for all that, if I'd sell it for silver price. But I have no idea. So this right here by itself, $220, super easy to sell in a coin store, maybe for $200 because they take some percentage um, on their spot because they gotta make money. So I'm pretty hopeful we're going to make money back from the mystery box. Okay, next we're gonna calculate all this half dollars, 40% silver and multiply it silver melt value because I don't care about face value. I bought it as a silver, not coins. Is there 30 coins? I think so. No, there's 31. That's pretty awesome. I like to use coinflation and silver melt value here, $2.60. So we're gonna multiply that. I just multiply by 250 because give it or take it depends on the silver value today. So it's $77. Let's call it $70. Melt value of this thing is $3.10, so let's call it $33 right here. This right here, another $9. Melt value silver, but much older coins. 90% silver, half dollars. There's a mixer of them, but they all go for about $6.35. Right now, silver might go up or down, never know. But as of today, this said here 11 coins I think. I got here 12 half dollars. We're gonna underestimate it. Let's do 12 multiplied by 6. It's 72 dollars. And again this is just silver melt value. And that's it. Let's calculate all, all together. So what I come up with is 384 dollars. Not including this junk. Because it's purely junk silver. Or these silver spoons. I have no idea how to sell them or where to sell them because it's just silver plated. But this stuff is pretty awesome. A little bit disappointed because the bars is not a great condition. So I don't even know if I can sell them for 20, uh, 20, $21. I calculated them for $20 each. But again, it's all about the size, not even the quality what they look like because that's how they produce and trade value still does not matter even if they uh, dirty it's just all about silver and this one would have been a really good money way more than $18 but because it has this giant hole I don't know it probably would be a spot maximum I don't know what happened to this thing but yeah pretty cool I was hoping to get something really beautiful something super shiny but this is literally junk silver. Nothing wrong with junk silver. People invest in junk silver. Usually it's not pure silver like 
coins but to me this one is also kind of a like a junk silver because it's so messed up but these bars i do like they're pretty awesome i do not have this mint but anyways let me know in comments below what do you think was it worth it i think it was worth it for the video purposes but i would have spent my 400 dollars maybe on a way better silver than this stuff because it wasn't way more and such a junky silver i would say it's not worth it because i was hoping to get really surprised by super unique pieces but yeah i would call it mystery box junk silver that's what the title of the listing should have been because even the bars pretty junky as well but anyways thank you for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe let me know if you want to see more mystery boxes from ebay i mean those things you gotta be careful i'm still lucky to even get my value back a lot of times they give you such a junk of maybe worth of $20 and you pay $300. Also, you gotta remember that I calculated all these coins just silver melt value. You can sell them yourself, spend your time selling each coin on eBay. You're going to get few bucks extra for face value. If you're going to drop it off at coin store, if those coins not super rare, they're just going to give you silver melt value most likely but depends on the coin store you know everybody is different anyways thank you for watching and i'll see you next time